Review copy provided by PlayStation. We've been waiting for Media Molecule's dreams for the lifespan of the PlayStation 4, ever since it was first teased seven years ago at the console's reveal. Once you spend a few hours with this unique game creator, you realize why their most ambitious project to date took so long to develop. There is an astonishing number of things to experience inside dreams and many ways to build more, but does this $40 game appeal to every type of player, or just those with a creative spirit? Regardless of whether you're here to surf dreams or shape them, you have to go through an opening that presents the basics of camera movement and introduces you to your imp, the colorful cursor that serves as an extension of you throughout the game. Then you're free to partake in the two major activities in dreams, creating games or playing them. You can try a little of each, or you can take one road and never look back. Both modes achieve their goals and are entertaining in their own ways. There is a lot of content, either packed in by Media Molecule or continually generated by their busy community, and there are a lot of tools you can customize and tutorials to teach you how to use them. Each side of Dreams effectively complements the other. People who plan to spend all their time building might want to check out the dreams of their fellow creators for education or inspiration, and people who are only interested in playing the best Dreams might one day find themselves taking them apart to find out how they work under the hood. Regardless of which mode you prefer, Media Molecule definitely wants you to express yourself. Like Little Big Planet, you're given a home space that you can decorate with prizes unlocked from the in-house dreams, as well as from a series of quests that often involve publishing your own dreams or commenting on others. There are hours and hours of comprehensive tutorials that have Media Molecule's trademark welcoming charm and dry wit, laying out the elements of game design at a speed that's approachable to all types of players. The level creation is the most open and inherently intuitive you'll find in any comparable game, hitting the sweet spot between functionality and fun. Once you get comfortable with moving your perspective in any object you're manipulating, shaping or coloring the environment is fluid and rewarding. There's an inherent floatiness to character movement and object physics when you get into actual gameplay, but in the creative space, you have a lot of control and you can zoom in to the smallest details to line things up. Although it lives on the PlayStation 4, Dreams isn't all about games. You can make a film to tell a short story, or assemble a still scene to show off what's possible with the game's unique rendering process. You can explore any genre you can think of. It's no surprise that platformers and action games tend to be easier to create than role-playing puzzle and adventure games, but even the assortment of ideas present at the launch of Dreams showcases the vast potential. The reality is that the best games take time, and you can instantly tell the difference between a project that was planned and tested versus something rushed out. For creators that have the will to realize their dreams, but not the patience, time, or know-how to teach themselves more specific disciplines like system logic, character design, or advanced scoring systems, Dreams has solutions. As inspiring as the game can be, there will likely be a few aspects of development that you'd wish you could skip. If you get stuck, you can access elements other people have made, whether it's a working four-wheel vehicle or a song that fits your theme. Or you can grab a template to work off something pre-made. Each detail remains linked to the dreamer that made it, no matter how far it travels. You can also reach out to other creators and possibly collaborate in-game or in the forums. Several dreams have lots of different PSN names in their opening credits. Extensive search filters mean anyone specifically looking for your type of level can find it, and you're notified whenever someone shares something with you or gives one of your projects a thumbs up. You can make something for one of the regular community jams if you want more people to notice your work, perhaps getting it featured on one of Media Molecule's live streams or curated favorites lists. And a lot of dreams have found success even in an unfinished state, linking to updates as development continues. You might also want to just play video games, and it's here that Media Molecule will really want to focus its attention in the months ahead. There are a couple of playlists you should navigate to first. Pick Up and Play highlights the developer's darlings and delivers the quickest taste of how diverse dreams can be. Forever Popular shows off some of the older crowd pleasers, and options cycle quickly through the trending dreams playlist, where the wacky stuff can really shine. Old Community Jams also hold a lot of value if you're interested in a particular theme. 
If you just use the filters to explore your favorite genres, the line between celebrated dream and unfinished experiment starts to get blurry. There are several mind-blowing works of genius out there, but there are even more buggy, uninspiring knockoffs and works in progress. Right now, Dreams doesn't do a great job of labeling that stuff as what it is, and with so many levels to try out, it can be challenging to judge each book by its cover. That said, some of the most entertaining moments involve dreams that aren't ready for prime time or come well short of reimagining some popular franchise. What they lack in polish, they make up for in shock value or goofiness. Even the worst dream can be skipped instantaneously, and seconds later, you're on to another. You can also add dreams to a play later list if you're out of time, or send them to friends. The best of the best are made by Media Molecule themselves, with their centerpiece being a movie-length opus called Art's Dream. It encompasses a variety of design styles and gameplay mechanics, pushing the creative tools to their apparent limit. It feels like the obvious place to start for people focused on playing, but you can take it in pieces and come back time after time if you want. Art's Dream is an affecting tale full of sadness and love, even while parts of its world can feel random and clunky. The strictly single-player story impressively juggles the same devices you can use to turn your own offbeat ideas into something you can actually interact with. With, and it occasionally throws out unlockable goodies for your home space if you're quick enough to catch them. It's also worth it to tour the smaller levels made by Media Molecule staff, especially if you miss the early access period. While it can initially feel like this library of levels goes on forever and wild new ideas keep popping up every day, it can get tiring when you just fly through curated lists that jump all over the place or take the time to pick through the weeds. It can be especially tough when you want to focus on something more particular, like fighting games, racers, or anything for more than one player. We hope that the method used to showcase these games evolves as gracefully as the games have themselves. If the years it took to finally launch Dreams are any indication, it feels safe to assume that this game will be supported for a while. There are plans to incorporate PlayStation VR, and while no formal announcements have been made, it's hard to imagine the game not coming to PlayStation 5. It's intriguing to see what has already been made in Dreams, and this feels like just the beginning of what's possible. From making levels to playing levels, the flexibility of Dreams is its greatest asset. It's hard to judge the engine powering all this by any one particular level or world, but there is definitely a painterly aesthetic that the textures default to. While that softness can be ironed out and some scenes touch on unexpected levels of realism, it's not that hard to identify something that was made in dreams versus something that came from professional development software. The visuals can be surprisingly gorgeous at the same time. The right creator can generate spectacular cinematics or use the lighting tools to great effect, and aside from memory space, there are few limitations. Some of the most detailed character models can instantly lose their credibility the moment a wobbly animation sequence makes them dance around, but when a scene plays into the graphical strengths, it can accomplish great things. And this community's really just getting started. It's hard to define dreams in one video, but it's obvious you get a tremendous amount of value for the price. If you crave a creative outlet, the tools here are effective and easy to learn, and the army of fuller part-time developers appear ready to embrace your work. If you just want a wide range of weird games to play, you'll find your queue refilled on a regular basis with surprises that couldn't have been realized any other way. There are definitely things Media Molecule needs to focus on now that early access is over, and it'll be a treat to see the game grow over time. But what's here, now, is absolutely incredible. Easy Allies reviews are made possible by generous viewers just like you. If you like what you see, check out patreon.com slash easy allies to help us make more. For just $1 a month, you can gain access to weekly updates, spoiler discussions, and exclusive shows. Review copy provided by PlayStation.